Are you an angel? I am. Well, come closer. Have you seen the likes of me before, have you? Never. And I definitely wish that pleasure would have been postponed. Are you going to show me my past? No, Ebenezer. I've come to show you your present. In the hopes that you will turn to God and be redeemed. Well, go redeem someone younger than I. I'm much too old to change. You better live my life the way that I wish. That's exactly why I'm here. You can't truly live apart from God. God gave you life. And I've been said here that you may witness the lives of those who seek after God with all their heart. Well, all right, then. I learned the lesson the last hour that's working even as of now. So, Angel, conduct me where you wish. We're already here. Look, down there. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! I'll take time to Baba. Thank you. Hello, my dear. Hello, sweetheart. Mmm, smells delicious. So, Mr. Cratchit, how was church to see me? The service was so beautiful. I wish you could have been there. You should have seen Tiny Tim. He was <coughs> so happy. And he was listening very close to everything the pastor had to say about the Christmas story. Oh, that boy, he has such faith. He finds joy in everything. And yet, he's been in such terrible pain lately. He is going to get better, my love, isn't he? Oh, Bob. Angel. Angel. The boy, on the couch, with the crutch. Oh, tiny Tim. Yes. Has he been sick long? Surely there are doctors that can help him. There are. And he only needs some common medicine. Bob Cratchit can't afford medicines or doctors. Not on 15 shillings a week. He has five or, what is that, six miles to feed. Martha, tell us about the head shop. Well, it's feathers and ribbons and bows and straws for 14 hours a day. <laughs> that has got to your head. <laughs> And all the ladies with the fine clothes and fine fur, it seems they can never decide what they want. Well, I'm glad we don't have that kind of problem around here, do we, kids? My dear, this food looks delicious. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for all that you have provided us. A loving family, food on our table, and most of all, that each and every one of us knows our Lord Jesus Christ. We are richly and truly blessed beyond measure. Lord, I want to lift up to you a sad and lonely man who's in desperate need of your presence in his life. I pray that one day Mr. Scrooge will accept you as his Lord and Savior. Mr. Scrooge? Mr. Scrooge, indeed. That man don't deserve the prayers of a heathen. Oh, Mrs. Scrooge. Oh, Lord, forgive me. But, Bob, how can you pray for that, that man after all that he's done? Children, God loves Mr. Scrooge every bit as much as he loves you and me. He died for him, too. And the Bible teaches us not only to pray for those who bless us, but also to pray for those who cause us hurt and pain. Children, your father is a godly man indeed. We shall pray for Mr. Scrooge. So, Lord, we lift up Mr. Scrooge to you. Soften his heart and open his eyes to see how desperately he needs you in his life. Let there be a divine transformation. And finally, for what we are about to receive, make us truly <laughs> thankful. Amen. Amen. God bless you, my dear. And God bless you. God bless us, everyone. I am grateful for family and grateful for you. I am grateful for every day I'm giving with you. I am grateful for blessings from my Father above. I am grateful to God for you. so little. You 
they seem to be so happy. In the eyes of the world, they may appear to have little. But in the eyes of God, they have everything of true value. A relationship with God that is right. And a relationship with others that honors Him. Well, what about Tiny Tim? How can they retain so much joy in the midst of such tragic health? Ebenezer, look and see for yourself. Doctors, some provisions, by some means. The wages you withheld your worker testify against you, Ebenezer. But there is hope. Behold, the faith of a mother, embraced, trusting in God. 